Susan Boyle made her triumphant return to the spotlight this month, appearing on the debut episode of America's Got Talent, The Champions. This is Boyle's first time competing on the US version of the show. She explained she wanted to return to the show for a second chance and would love to win this time. The former Britain's Got Talent runner-up is already off to a great start, earning a golden buzzer from Judge Mel B for her cover of the Rolling Stones' Wild Horses. After her performance, Judge Simon Cowell remarked he couldn't think of any other contestant who has defined the show better than Boyle, and he was absolutely thrilled she was there. In a pre-taped video before her performance, Boyle spoke of her journey and her unfulfilled promise. When asked if she felt like a champion, Boyle replied, A champion for those who maybe don't have the confidence to do things, for those who don't have a voice, the ones who people tend to ignore. I've been a champion for them. Boyle's AGT performance was a promising beginning to what will likely be a time of rebuilding and reflection for someone who's experienced the side effects of sudden fame. It's been nearly nine years since Boyle appeared on Britain's Got Talent. During that time, Boyle received two Grammy nominations and has reportedly sold more than 25 million records worldwide. She has been nominated for several Billboard Music Awards and has won a World Music Award, Japan Gold Disc Award, Radio Fourth Award and Scottish Music Award. She also has a number one album in both the US and the UK for the second time in one year an achievement that only the Monkeys and the Beatles have done before her. Unfortunately, Boyle's time after Britain's Got Talent has also been marred by questions about her mental health, personal struggles and meltdowns. With the singer on the verge of a sensational comeback, we look at what happened to her in the years she was away from the spotlight. Despite being the clear favourite to win Britain's Got Talent, she placed second and her behaviour became increasingly erratic in her defeat. The day after the final, Boyle was admitted to the Priory, a private psychiatric clinic in London. Britain's Got Talent producers explained that Susan was exhausted and emotionally drained after her final performance. Boyle's hospital stay attracted widespread attention and Judge Simon Cowell offered to waive Boyle's contractual obligation to perform in the BGT tour. Boyle ended up leaving the clinic three days later and went on to participate in the BGT tour. Despite her health concerns, she appeared in 20 of the 24 dates scheduled for the tour. After the tour, Boyle released her debut album, I Dreamed a Dream, in November of 2009. The album would go on to become the fastest-selling UK debut album of all time and the best opening week for a debut artist in the US in over a decade. Topping the Billboard chart for six straight weeks, the album was only one of two in 2009 to sell over three million copies. Taylor Swift's Fearless was the other and bested Boyle's album by only 113,000 copies. During 2009, Boyle also appeared in her own TV special, I Dreamed a Dream, The Susan Boyle Story, which became the TV Guide Network's highest rated special in its history. Despite her successes, 2010 began with a series of new concerns for Boyle. In January, Boyle returned home to find an intruder inside her house, who fled when she opened the front door. Police did detain a man in connection with the incident, but he was later released. By February, Boyle had been photographed having several breakdowns in public. Her brother Jerry admitted to the Daily Mail that she'd become unable to sleep following the break-in, and the family was worried she was headed for another breakdown. In the fall of 2010, the Scottish singer appeared on the talk show The View to sing her rendition of O Holy Night from her holiday album The Gift. Midway through the performance, she found herself unable to finish, stating she had a frog in her throat, as she requested to start over. After stopping her performance in front of the studio audience, she waited patiently at the microphone until hosts from the show rushed to her side. The mishap was seen by viewers on the East Coast, but Boyle re-recorded the song for the rest of the country. Despite concerns about her mental health, Boyle's career showed no signs of slowing, and from 2010 to 2012, she released three more studio albums. However, with the continued success came more cause for concern. By spring 2012, amid reports that she was struggling to cope with the demands of having fans, Boyle was left terrified and shaken after an obsessed fan tried to get into her hotel room. The man followed the singer to her suite and made a dash for the door as she went inside. 
Boyle's security team was able to prevent the fan from entering, but he managed to run away. Her nerves were already frayed, and she shouldn't have to worry about people hounding her at her hotel, a source told the Daily Mirror. Shortly after that, Boyle had an emotional breakdown at a motorway services area. The singer began screaming and shouted, I just want to go home, before swearing at a fellow customer and weeping while waiting for her order at a Burger King. According to reports, Boyle was very distressed and agitated as her busy schedule took its toll. Onlookers filmed the event on their mobile phones as she was calmed by an aide. A friend of Boyle's told the son she wanted to go home as she was tired and upset. Susan is very sorry to anyone she upset. 2013 saw continued reports of Boyle's erratic behaviour and emotional outbursts. As a child, Boyle was misdiagnosed as brain damaged after complications during her birth and was given the label Simple Susan. Boyle went to see a Scottish specialist a year ago and was told she has Asperger's syndrome. Tests confirmed that her IQ was actually above average. In a 2013 interview, she revealed the diagnosis. It was the wrong diagnosis when I was a kid, Susan told the observer. I was told I had brain damage. I always knew it was an unfair label. Now I have a clearer understanding of what's wrong, and I feel relieved and a bit more relaxed about myself. I think people will treat me better, because they will have a much greater understanding of who I am and why I do the things I do. Susan and her brother Jerry reportedly had a falling out in December 2013, when other family members claimed he threatened to kill himself if she didn't give him £50,000. The siblings would spend the next two and a half years without speaking to each other. Boyle also landed her first film role in the 2013 movie The Christmas Candle, and released her fifth and sixth albums in 2013 and 2014 respectively. In 2015, Boyle was left devastated by the death of her sister, Bridget Birdie McCaw. The 73-year-old died in October of 2015 after a battle with cancer and was very close to Boyle, who is the youngest of nine children. Boyle took a break from her career, putting a new album on hold to allow her to grieve, later saying, She was honest and helped me throughout my life and during my career. 2016 saw the revelation that her father had hit her as a child. Boyle told the Daily Mail, My father, though a very good man, had a temper. He showed it to me and hurt me. He didn't mean to, but I held on to this for years, and when he was, I had to let it go. You have to accept it. That's maturity. Susan later backtracked on the claim after her family was left heartbroken. In 2016, Boyle was reportedly involved in a meltdown at Heathrow Airport. The singer was escorted out of the British Airways lounge by police after she allegedly became involved in a heated disagreement with a member of staff. An onlooker told the Sun newspaper, She looked confused and was shouting, I've done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong, repeatedly. A spokeswoman for Boyle said, The incident at Heathrow occurred because of Susan's well-documented Asperger syndrome. Boyle has previously spoken of her relief at receiving a medical explanation for the emotional outburst and acute anxiety that has afflicted her throughout her life. The outburst also prompted Susan and her brother Jerry to reconcile after Boyle left him a distressing voicemail regarding the incident. He frantically called her back, and Susan took a taxi straight to his home. Jerry later said, Within five minutes, it was like we'd never been apart. It has been great to pick up the pieces. In 2017, it was revealed that Susan has been the target of intimidation and bullying from teenagers in her neighbourhood for years. The Mirror UK reported that a gang of teenagers has been harassing Boyle near her home. The site claims that their teens have thrown paper at her, called her names and thrown stones at a bus in which he was riding. A source shared, We were inside the bus, and they were throwing stones, screaming and shouting things. Another time, ten to fifteen of them were surrounding and throwing stuff. They lit a piece of paper and threw it at her face. Representatives for Boyle asked for the help of police in ensuring her safety. Now, nearing the ten-year anniversary of her Britain's Got Talent audition, things just might be on the upswing for Boyle. This is a big year for Susan, 
and she is very much stepping back into the limelight, with her AGT champion's appearance being just the start. A source told the Mirror, The anniversary of her audition, which made headlines around the world, is the perfect time to launch a career comeback. Boyle is off to a great start. Earning a golden buzzer means she'll advance directly to the finals round and will perform for a chance to win the title of world champion. Do you think Susan Boyle has what it takes to win America's Got Talent the Champions? Let us know in the comments below, and thank you for watching.